The coin market cap is used to summarize everything that is said in this movie. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my station to get more XRP news and news about cryptocurrencies in general. Look at this now. The court decision in Ripple vs. CC is strong. Recently, the court battle between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission took a big turn, and Ripple won an important question. The judge said that XRP did not meet the requirements to be called a security. Still, as the legal process goes on, more and more people are guessing whether or not the SEC will appeal this decision. They have a timeline for appeals just like the CDC does. In September 2024, they have to decide if they will appeal the decision that was made in August 2024. It has a lot of stress on it when this choice was made. The fact that it said XRP is not a security in and of itself was a big step forward. There has been a lot of guessing about what the CC might do next since it hasn't said anything since the decision was reached. Garlinghouse thinks that the current court ruling that XRP is not a security is correct. He spoke of more hope about the chance that the case was getting closer to being over. Also, Garlinghouse made a vague reference to the idea that the Securities and Exchange Commission might change its mind after the U.S. elections. This would mean that the way cryptocurrencies are regulated would be changed. Legal experts' opinions, XRPs, and how they should be classified by the law are at the heart of the debate over this question. Lawyers who specialize in coding have been paying close attention to this case, and some of them have said they agree with Garlinghouse's point of view. Bill Morgan, a well-known lawyer who supports cryptocurrency, recently shared his thoughts on the subject and gave his views. A crypto commentator named Michael Branch made a statement in which he said Garlinghouse was sure that the decision would be confirmed. Morgan replied to this comment with the main finding of the order, which is that XRP is not a security, as Morgan said. This leaves little room for the second to argue against it. Morgan agreed with what was said. Morgan pointed out that the court had also thrown out the SEC's claims, saying that the agency had not shown that the tokens themselves could be called securities. He did this by making comparisons to a case from the past called SECV Payward Inc. The Kraken case is the name of this case. In the case of SECV Payward Inc., the court said that the SEC's plan to say that tokens or securities could not be used could not be followed. It is more convincing to say that XRP as a token does not automatically meet the requirements to be called a security because of the example that has already been set. Morgan's study supports the idea that the Securities and Exchange Commission CC would have a hard time making a strong case to overturn the decision. Legal challenges made by Ripple are still going on and haven't been fully settled, even though they have had some success. Because of the court's decision about XRP, the company and the people it helps have received benefits. But the CC is still working to control the cryptocurrency field in a more comprehensive way. As the lawsuit goes forward, Ripple needs to stay alert to make sure its legal strategy works. During the appeals process, Ripple's lawyer told the community that the SEC would not question the fact that XRP is not an asset. It's likely that the SEC's appeal will be more about Ripple's sales of XRP to institutions than about the state of XRP in general. It is not legally binding what was said in the Obiter dictum, but it can be used in the Secus future legal case. Bill Morgan, a lawyer who supports XRP, says that people are worried that the SEC will use a biter dictum to question XRP's status as a non-security. Assuring the community, he said that the SEC had said it would keep its attention on Ripple's institutional sales rather than XRP's core standing, even though the Obito beater is not yet set in stone on appeal. The court case between Ripple and the SEC and one possible way to appeal. Morgan's words come after the ongoing court case between Ripple Labs and the Securities and Exchange Commission. There were rumors that the Securities and Exchange Commission would file an appeal based on a biter dictum. This means that the SEC would not do that. This is because Ripple's legal team put an end to those rumors. Because of these worries have been made. On the other hand, the weekly chart of XRP shows some positive signs, even though the price has been going down lately. So far, it looks like a reversed head and shoulders pattern is forming, which often means that the trend might be about to change. From May to December 2022, the left shoulder started to take shape. In June 2023, a low point that is also called the head showed up. There has been a close watch on the growth of the right shoulder since August 2024. The most important level for traders and buyers to keep an eye on, though, is the neckline that is between $0.65 and $0.66. It's possible that XRP will reach $1 soon if it can break out above this area. Based on how prices have moved in the past, this would be a normal goal for this kind of shape. There is another reason to be bullish on XRP if it breaks above the exponential moving averages for both the 50-week and 200-week timeframes. As long as the price stays above these levels, traders will probably have more faith in the rising story. This will make it more likely that the price will keep going up.
figures that are even more bold are suggested by signs that look at the bigger picture. This pattern, called a symmetrical triangular formation, often means that a big rise is coming. You can see it on the monthly chart. Several economic models say that the price of XRP could go as high as $4 if the upper trend line is broken. The Bitcoin world is getting ready for a big year, and Solana stands out because it developers of decentralized apps use it a lot because it is a blockchain platform. FAP Solana competes with Ethereum and Cardano by allowing faster transactions and having a number of programming languages. The information given is not meant to be taken as trade advice. Any purchases made based on the information on this page are not the responsibility of the people who made them. Before making any investment decisions, you should definitely do your own study and talk to a professional who knows what they're talking about.